Hello, hello, and welcome to my thought on this very, very warm, warm Friday. And I've been seeing a lot of dogs. I've been seeing a lot of dogs. And this neighborhood is very unusual um, because this is a Hasidic neighborhood. And I think you must know that Hasidic men cannot um, shave, they cannot take away facial hair. That's why they have the beards and they have the mustaches and the long payees which I have learned they make curl with gel. I didn't know that. I thought it was all natural. But they're all covered with hair. So the people in the Hasidic community don't have dogs. And I think the reason they don't have dogs is because, listen, you go to bed at night and you don't know whether the, the living thing next to you is Fido or Frank. No, so they don't have dogs. But I was thinking how much we can learn from our dogs because our dogs are really very, uh, they're much smarter than we think. And I'm not trying to be anthropomorphic, but you watch them, they sort of know what they're doing. And I had a poodle whose name was Donald. He was so little, he looked like a fluffy baked potato. But he was also, the poodles are supposed to be very smart, but this dog was really stupid. I mean, he was just so stupid. And dogs, went to mark their territory, they pee around a little area and then the stuff inside is theirs. So I had Dan Donald for 17 years and Donald peed around every morning when he would get up. He'd go into the living room and he would pee all around the edge of the living room. And, and when people would come to visit, they would never go into the living room because it stunk so bad they couldn't stand it. And that was when I learned that if you really want something, you love something and you don't want to give it up and you don't want to share it and you want to keep it forever as yours, just pee on it. And Donald had a very, very beautiful memory. Even though he was stupid, he had a beautiful memory. And I used to take him to a vet who was very funny. He was originally from Colorado Springs. And I used to say to him, do you like California? And he would say, no, I don't. I want to go back to Colorado, but he loved animals, and I loved taking Donald to this vet because he was absolutely the, the sweetest man. But the vet, um, the vet neutered Donald, and Donald never forgot it, never forgot it. And every time I took Donald to the, this vet, he would go, Aah! and the vet would say, "Oh, he's just nervous," and I'd say, "No, no, Donald remembers." But Donald used to live in a basket. He lived in a basket with a little Shih Tzu who Shih tzu a lot named Dorothy. And every morning after he peed all over around the rug, around the living room, he would go into this basket and he would hump Dorothy. And Dorothy would go right to sleep. And that was when I learned that, ladies, if you, you can stand anything if you dream a little dream. So Donald, I took Donald to another vet when he had a thistle in his eye. I took Donald to another vet when he had a thistle in his eye, and he was walking around like this. He couldn't see real well. And I took him to the vet, and he really hated this vet. He really just, if you thought he didn't like the one that tutored him, he really neutered him. He really hated this vet. And the vet came in, Donald had a thistle in his eye, and the vet came in, and Donald went, ah. And the vet said, uh, I think I better get a muzzle. And I said, no, no, the dog isn't Muslim. The dog is Jewish. And he said, no. I said, do you want me to hold his mouth shut for you so that he won't bite you. And the vet said yes. And I held Donald's mouth shut while the vet came at Donald with a tranquilizer. And as the vet came and started to put the needle in Donald's hip, Donald shot a load of shit all over the examining room. It looked like the Great October Massacre. It hit the window. It hit the vet right in the head. It hit the examining table. It hit it all over. And that was when I learned there's more than one way to win a war. So you can learn a lot from your animals. I'll probably tell you more about that tomorrow. Uh, but thank you so much for joining me for my thought.